Speaker Johnson, in the absence of any leadership from Joe Biden, took to the podium at Columbia University today to tell these whiny terrorist sympathizers that they can speak all they want, but you don't get to intimidate people. The madness has to stop. The madness has to stop. We, we just left a meeting with students, Jewish students, who told us of the heinous acts of bigotry that they have experienced simply because of their faith. Their bravery is inspiring, much more inspiring than some of the activities we're seeing here. And they should never have to confront such hate on an American college campus. I, look, I haven't agreed with everything this guy has done as speaker today, but that was being the adult in the room. That's what it looks like. But the people who are supposed to be monitoring this stuff apparently aren't. Are you actively monitoring these protests? We don't monitor protests, uh, but we do share intelligence about specific threats of violence. Uh, you do monitor protests. Ask anybody from January 6th. But I'm not sure who needs to hear this. If that's the caliber of law enforcement in this country, no one's coming to save you. The government doesn't care about you, and they're making more of an effort to do nothing than they are their actual job. Yeah, I'm not talking about the rank and file. I'm talking about the brass up top. You guys down below, you know what's up. Yeah, the FBI is not concerned, according to Director Ray, about who is being bussed onto our college campuses, about who is there, about who is exposed to our kids, where they're supposed to be safe. What are they doing? With senators' properties being invaded by protesters, universities being forced to call in SWAT teams after activists, they set up these tent cities, we got power grids going out, we got 911 lines going down, fuel and food becoming nearly unaffordable, and the cops being told not to intervene. In this political climate, you are on your own. In fact, if you're white, if you're male, if you're Christian, especially if you're a Trump supporter, and super duper especially now, if you're Jewish on a college campus, you are usually guilty until proven innocent, even if you defend yourself. And, and should you find yourself in trouble, you better not defend yourself, lest you end up in jail like Daniel Penny. We have a government that is still looking into the raid of... They could still, seriously, raid your home. At three years after January 6th, if you were let into the Capitol building, the FBI director is coming after you. Watch. Let me ask you about January 6th. Are you still pursuing January 6th cases? We have sir, any number of January 6th cases underway. Former President Trump has referred to those who have been in prison or are facing trial as hostages. Do you see those individuals who took part in the January 6th riots as hostages? I see the defendants in the January 6th cases as criminal defendants who are being charged with federal crimes and are in front of independent courts as part of our legal system. He sits there and says that with a straight face while simultaneously warning us that a terror threat on America is imminent. I would be hard pressed to think of a time where so many threats to our public safety and national security were so elevated all at once. But that is the case as I sit here today. Really? I, look, I'm no expert in government resource management. I'm just a guy on TV. But maybe they should spend more resources on actually watching for terrorists rather than moms and dads who just don't want to have drag queens twerking in their kids' face at school anymore. Maybe instead of the FBI strong-arming our banks, maybe you know, trying to get the data on Americans who are buying guns legally to protect themselves because the FBI won't do it, since the government is seemingly unwilling to stop any crime whatsoever, just maybe they should focus on the multiple offenders with illegal guns running rampant in our deep blue Democrat-controlled cities. I mean, they're certainly not looking to college campuses. What else do they got to do? Why don't they do that? Because now more than ever, our government, our public servants at the top level only serve the agenda. These people, like FBI Director Ray, who was Chris Christie's recommendation to Trump, by the way, that's the only reason he got there, are perpetual existers. They just exist to exist and perpetuate the existence of themselves and the government and whatever increasing burden of control the bureaucracy has over you and I. It is maddening. If our system was a movie, it would look like the Hunger Games. It's like a capital composed of perversion and sideshows and Ponzi schemes doing whatever the hell they want while draining the resources from people like you and I on Main Street.